vinyl collection really, really started as another way, another platform for me to really express myself through something that I love doing, which is fashion, it's something I know so much more about. So that was another way, another business platform for me to express myself a little bit. I love fashion too. I feel like right now is the biggest time in fashion, especially for us up and coming brands, us, us designers that are in the situation that we are in coming up. I feel like I love it right now. Right now, fashion is exactly whatever it is you want it to be. And I don't feel it was ever in a situation like that. I always felt fashion was whatever was shown to you by the biggest brands that ran the game and I feel like now it's a lot more of whatever we want to do, whatever we create, whatever we love, whatever we like, putting them together, creating new different things and I feel like right now fashion is on it's uncontrollable, it's whatever we want to do with it and right now I feel like that's where me and a lot of other dudes that I do know that, that's in this fashion game are taking it. I feel like we are taking it to that next level and Honestly, I love where it is right now and where it's going. I mean, people don't really understand this question so much. But like, this is really, this question right here is what really, really makes me real different from a lot of these people that's doing this fashion thing. I feel like a lot of people aren't putting the work in. I really, 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 really work hard. I really time. The amount of time I put into this is. It's crazy. It's, it's, my work ethic is, 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 is sickening. It's literally sickening. Like, there's no time off. There's no days off. I'm, I'm at this every single day, every single week. I don't take breaks. So to me, I feel a lot of the people that are doing this, they they, they have that, and they don't take it as serious. So when you're not taking it as serious, what you're doing is giving people like me the advantage to take my brand where it's going because the amount of time I put into this is exactly where my why my brand looks the way it is today and why it's going where it's going. You have to put the time there's no there's no other answer to how to become successful in anything you're doing. If it's not fashion or anything else, the time that you put into your craft is what you're gonna get out of it. The time I put into this fashion game is the reason why my brand looks the way it does today. This is only about seven months in, not even, probably six months. And my brand looks as if it was out for a couple of years now. It's the time that I put in, the sacrifice that I put in, and my sweat, my tears, my everything. That's what I feel a lot of people are missing today. I need a lot more designers, that's designers, businessmen, whatever you love. I feel like we gotta put this time in. The time we put in, is what we gonna get out. So we gotta put this time in. I honestly really, when I look at my brand, I don't really look at it as just a strictly casual brand. I, I kind of put it in the range of sporty. It can go either way with my company, and I feel like it's really because it's me. I design for the way I would like to dress. I design for the way I would shop if I was going out. And it's really, um, for me, basically, it's my style, my creativity, the things that I like to do, the things that I like to wear, and it's expressing me. So for me, really, that's what really differentiates for me doing streetwear and me doing more trendy clothing. Is It's just really how I like to dress. And for me, honestly, it's, it's longevity. I feel I've had a couple runs with different types of brands and clothing, and I felt the style that I am reaching now and the style that I am doing now, it just lasts longer, and, I, and I'm here to build, I'm here to trade, and I'm here to be here tomorrow, I'm not, I'm not just here for today, I'm here to build, and this is where it starts, find a collection. I've worked with a few brands in the past, and you know, I've had my ups and downs in the fashion games as far as working with other brands. And I felt like the only way to really express myself and for my clothing to actually speak to me was to come out and create my own work, which was going to fall on my own hands. If it, if it was great, people would acknowledge me for it. If it was poor, they would acknowledge me for it as well. I wanted to take the blame, and I also wanted to have full hands-on, big 
creativity part of my company, and I felt the Barnet Collection was the only way to make it happen. One thing I would never tell anyone to do is to work hard, you should already know that. To put the time in, you should already know that. To sacrifice, you should already know that. The only thing that I would ever tell anyone to do starting any business is to never give up on what you believe in. If you have an idea that you think is going to work, if your partners do not agree, continue with that vision and keep it pushing. Keep pushing towards that goal and keep pushing towards that dream. And I feel there's nothing that can stop you in this way. Do not ever change your goal because of somebody else's decision or somebody else's ideas. You're supposed to push on, continue doing what you love, continue doing what you believe. Your ideas that will work and they will happen. Shout out to MovieRed.com for this dope interview. Check me out, check my brand, BonnerCollection.com, TheBonnerCollection.com. Check me out on Instagram at MrBonner underscore or at BonnerCollection.